Okay, I think the city of Fairfax is trying to poison us with their water. It smells all like chlorine. We got the fluorine in there, which uh, kills your brain. And, uh, if you're sick of uh, buying bottled water, trying to survive, survive uh, being poisoned through the water system. Here we go, we got a crock pot here. Okay, so here's a simple way to make a still. We have a crock pot here. And uh, we will put some water inside of there from the, from the tap. And we'll get a, a bowl about the right size that will fit down inside of there. And we'll put the lid on upside down so that the water will drip down in the center. And we'll turn the thing on high. Oh, and one more thing. Let's, uh, when you're distilling water, you want to evaporate it, which will take out all the crap, the lead, the chlorides, you name it. And the way it works is you got to turn it in the steam so it goes up to the top, and you want to cool it again. Well, make sure it stays cool up here. When water evaporates, it will cool it down, so we'll have a cooling reservoir at the top. And uh, we'll just let this thing simmer for a while and see see if it produces some pure water here. Okay, so we've had this thing running for about an hour and it looks like it's forming a bunch of drips. So we have some water up in the top here and the water's starting to form down inside and hopefully it'll run down into the center and fill up our bowl. There's a drip running down right there. And uh, <clears throat> the water evaporates and it keeps things cool. So, we'll come back a little bit later and see how that's working. Okay, here we go. Look at that. It's all sorts of drips, and they're running down into the center and dripping into the bowl. See that? So, it looks like our still is working slowly but surely. There we go. See all the water's running down into the center. and dripping into the bowl. Look at that. Okay, so we'll just let this run for a little bit longer and then we'll take open it up and see what's inside. Okay, let's turn this guy off and we'll let it cool down. What the heck are you doing? We'll see how this worked out. You're taking a video on the cooking it's pot? A, it's a still distilling water. It is not a still. It is a cooking pot. It is. Slow cooker. Well, I'll show you in a second. All the water is going into the bowl. Okay. Okay, so we'll let this thing cool down. We probably don't want to let the, uh, the water on the top spill into our clean water. Let's take a look inside, and uh, looks like we have about half a bowl full of freshly distilled water. Look at that, Ooh, it's too hot to touch. Okay. Okay, I'll let that cool down and uh, separate that. Maybe let it run again some, some more tomorrow. So it looks like our still is working pretty good. I don't know how efficient it is with electricity, but it is working. Maybe if we put some uh, insulation around the outside of it, because it's getting kind of hot out here, it might run more efficiently. Okay, so we have hooked up a, uh, a power meter to figure out how much how efficient this still is. And it looks like it's about using uh, almost 220 watts. 219 watts of power. All right, I turn off. The wattage goes to zero. Okay. So 220 watts. Okay. And it ran for about three hours yesterday and produced about a cup of water. But I think I'll run it again and get a more accurate measurement. 
and then we can determine how much it costs to make your own distilled water. Okay. Okay, here we are several hours later, and it looks like we are at about 20 cents here. And let's go through the menu. That's assuming 0.25 uh, cent or dollars per kilowatt hour. And uh, well, we're at about 3 hours and 47 minutes. And uh, let me just shut the sky down. It looks like we've evaporated quite a bit of water and got into the bowl. So let me shut this thing down now. And we'll let it cool off, then we'll measure how much water we got out of it once it cools off. And we can do some calculations to see how much it costs to make how much water. Okay, here we have our still, and uh, we did some calculations here. Turns out it's about uh, 2,260 uh, 2, joules per gram to evaporate water. And uh, water is about one mill milliliter per gram at a STP. And we're doing about 220 watts, which is a joule per second. And we want to figure out joule is a form of energy, a unit of energy. And there's 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, and we ran it for almost four hours. So that is uh, a lot of joules that we put into that guy and uh, we want to divide it by the number of joules it takes to evaporate one milliliter of water so we can figure out how many milliliters of water that we should have evaporated if it was hundred percent efficient and so we should have got about 1.4 liters which I think we got quite a bit less than that so let's uh, get in here we'll take the top off of our still okay and here is our bowl filled with water and we will pour that into our measuring cup and it's looking like about uh, we've got to hold it level about 250 milliliters so what is that about 20 25 percent efficient so it's not super great I think we could probably do better that's a, that's a quarter of a, a liter and uh, we were looking to get uh, one and a 1.4 liters almost so it's not super efficient but um, it will definitely work in a pinch and maybe there's some things we could do to improve the efficiency of this guy anyway so here's our nice clean distilled water and this is uh, Dr. Janes and thanks for watching